In this video, we're going to have a look at some more determining of angles in quadrilaterals. Example 1. In this sketch is parallelogram ABCD with AD equal to DE, angle D1 72 degrees and angle D2 54 degrees. Calculate the size of X, Y and Z. For this question, I'm going back to the first part of information stating that this is a parallelogram. This means that I know the two pairs of opposite angles are equal. So the whole of angle B is the same size as the whole of angle D. Next, they mention that side AD is the same length as DE, which means we have an isosceles triangle. That means we can say that angle A is the same size as angle E because they are angles opposite equal sides. I'm going to say that angle AED is also X. Next up, I can use triangle ADE to determine the size of X because here I know that angle A plus angle ADE plus angle D1 should equal 180 degrees because of the interior angles of a triangle. Now on the left hand side I have two x's and on the right I'm going to take the 180 and subtract 72 degrees to get that 2x is 108. This means x will be equal to 54 degrees. I've already mentioned that y will be the same size as angle A which is x and now that we know that x is 54 degrees, y will also be 54 degrees. And the reason here will be opposite angles of a parallelogram. I've also mentioned earlier that angle B, which is z, is equal to d1 plus d2. And that means it is 72 degrees plus 54 degrees. So z will be 126 degrees. And again, my reason is opposite angles of a parallelogram. Example 2. Calculate the size of x in the given quadrilateral. Even though we don't know what type of quadrilateral this is, we do know that the sum of the interior angles of any quadrilateral will be 360 degrees. So angle F plus angle G plus angle H plus angle I should give me 360 degrees. Angle F is 2x plus 10. Angle G is given as 5x minus 40. H is 3x minus 20. And I is 4x minus 10. And this should all be equal to 360 degrees. Next, I can add up all the variables on the left-hand side, and that will give me 14x. Adding up the constants on the left will give me minus 60 degrees. Next up, I can take the minus 60 degrees on the left and add it on the right to get 420 degrees. And once I've divided both sides by 14, x is equal to 30 degrees.